our snowy day project, you'll need a large piece of watercolor paper, liquid watercolor paint, or you can use regular palettes or liquid food dye. You need Epsom salts, scissors, pencil, regular glue, white paper, red construction paper, and then some chalk, whether it could be soft pastels or ch sidewalk chalk. Hi friends, today we are going to be painting something from the snowy day. Awesome, yes, we're doing a project from the snowy day by Ezra Jack Keats. It's a Caldecott Honor Medal book and we're excited to be sharing this with you. So we're gonna be starting with the background. We need some nice watercolor paper, big, big sheet of it. We need some Epsom salts, a couple tablespoons of it, water. What else do we need? Salt. We have the salt. We need some paint brushes. brushes. You can use regular watercolor palettes, but you'll notice eventually that they'll kind of get um, crystallized with that. So just be careful if you choose to use watercolor palettes or you can use some of these awesome liquid watercolors. So what we're gonna do first is make our mixture of the watercolor paint and what is this? The salt. salt. So can you put a few of these teaspoons in there? Just load it in, a bunch of, a bunch of salt in there. Like this? Yep, scoop it in. Lots of salt. Two? Let's do four. One, two, three, four. Four, awesome. Let's do it in there. One, two, three, and four. Perfect. We want to have a nice, a lot of crystals. So we've got our salt crystals in our water. We want to make some pretty colors for our sky. So let's use blue and purple. I've got my liquid watercolor paint in here. I'm gonna add it to my water. And my purple here. Can you take a stir stick and start to carefully stir it around? We want the salt to dissolve a little bit into the water with our color. Stir, stir, stir. Stirring quickly. And remember, you don't want to get all the stuff on your paper. Right, we're trying to be careful with our colors, okay. So I've got my salt pretty well dissolved and definitely have a lot of color in my water. So now we just need some big paint brushes because we're gonna cover our entire piece of paper in our water and, and Epsom crystals. And we need big brushes to cover that. So why don't you grab one of your big brushes? I'm gonna grab one of mine. And we're just gonna go across our page and do pretty designs of our beautiful um, Epsom Ooh, salt pretty. colors. That's pretty inside. Use both of your colors and just go all over your paper. You wanna get your entire paper covered in paint. I'm gonna um, fast forward a little bit through this part so that you can see how we end up with our beautiful colors. Hi friends. Now that we've finished putting the Epsom salt ice crystals in our watercolor paint. We will sprinkle a little bit more of our icy crystals of the Epsom salt onto our paper to give it a little bit of texture and fun. Not too much, but just, just a little bit. When it goes into the wet paper, it should stick to it and give it a little bit of texture as it dries.
these paintings need to dry overnight. That's how they're going to get that really cool icy crystal look to them. So we'll have to wait till tomorrow to finish our snowy day painting. So we'll see you after our paintings dry. Bye. We are continuing our project of the snowy day. And our paintings have been drying all night. Can you show your painting what it looks like? So they were drying, and if you notice, they are very sparkly. Like they are, crystals. They are covered in ice crystals. It's not really ice, it's the Epsom salts, but they are really covered in crystals all over. So it really looks like an icy cold winter on our paper. So we're gonna make the snow. If you notice in the snowy day, there's this beautiful texture and color that is in the snow. And to get that, we need some chalk on our white paper for our snow. You can use regular sidewalk chalk, or you can use chalk pastels like what we have here. We're just gonna use some of the colors that are here, the same ones that are in the story. So some blues and pinks. And we're going to rub our Maybe paper. Maybe some purple. Maybe some purple. So can you grab a blue or a pink? A light blue. Yes, a light blue or a pink. And we're just gonna rub it on our paper, just like this. There's no right or wrong. Take a couple colors. Doesn't need to be too dark. I want it to be pretty light. Mm -hmm. it over a little bit and you can get some this one's a good pink too when you use the chalk on your white paper you can use your hand and lighten it up and and smudge it so we don't want it too dark we still want it to look like white snow but just a little bit of texture and color like in Ezra Jack Keats snowy day you can see on this opening page that's kind of what we're looking for, just There's a little bit. There's probably no purple, and this, I want this one. Maybe a little bit of purple would be good. A little bit of purple. Okay, now that you've got your colors, use your fingers and blend them in. Blend, 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 blend. If you don't like getting your fingers dirty, you can use something like a... A paintbrush. You could use a paintbrush or a cotton ball, something to blend with. Blend, 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 blend. Ah! Ah! Okay, now that we've gotten our snow colored all pretty, take your scissors and you're gonna cut it at a diagonal. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yep, a <laughs> diagonal goes from one corner to the other corner, across the paper. No right or wrong. Anyway, we're just making the mountains of snow for our paper. So we kind of end up with two of what? What shape? Triangle. Two triangles. We turn our rectangle into two triangles. Okay, get out your painting. Kind of like a pizza. Kind of like a pizza. Mm -hmm. Pizza slices. Can you get out your painting? Pizza. And then the next thing we need is some regular glue. So beautiful. Okay, so we've got our snow cut, but she's decided that she wants hers to be a little different. So you can. If you don't want your um, snow to go up so high, you can trim it and make it different shapes if you like for the hill. I'm going to take some regular white liquid glue and glue down my mountains of snow for Peter to play in on the snowy day. My other mountain. It doesn't go all the way up into the sky. Yeah, so she's made hers a new shape. So we're going to fast forward through us gluing and laying out our snow. <music> to fold for our snowflake, you have a uh, square or rectangle and fold it in half. Anyway, fold it in half again. Anyway. Then you can round your edges if you like. Scissors. Wanna start from here? Yep, go from corner to corner. Not the fold, not, oh, turn it around. You wanna make sure you keep the point where you have all the folds together right here and you're gonna cut around the other way, perfect. 
Okay, so now you're just gonna cut little shapes out. We have to cut little shapes out. So like, that's our scrap paper. Snowflakes? We're gonna make little snowflakes that can go on our sky. When we unfold, after you've cut out some pieces, you gonna cut out any more? Are you good? Yeah. Good. Okay. Well, now unfold it once. Wait, wait. We need one more right here. Okay, perfect. Yep, you want to cut on the edges. Great. Unfold, unfold again. I wanted one in the middle. And then what did you get? A uh, snowflake. Snow and my snowflake. Aren't they different snowflakes? Oh, snowflakes will always look different. No matter what you do, they're always going to look different. Everybody's going to look different. This is cool. So you can put some snowflakes in the sky too. But what we need is the main character of our story. So, who do we need to make? Peter! Peter. So let's work on making Peter. We are going to work on drawing Peter now. We're making big mountains of snow, so we're going to make Peter sliding down the snow like he does in the book. And he is wearing a red snowsuit, so what color paper do we need? Red! Red. We need red paper. Sn Peter in the snow? In his snowsuit. His red snowsuit. Okay. We're going to draw his body. So we've got a line like this. Kind of near the bottom. Yeah, over here. And then we're going to draw his legs like this. And his little feet. Like a boot. And then his body goes up like this. So when you look at the shape, it kind of looks like a shoe, almost. A shoe! But that's his body all like tucked together <laughs> with a flat end. So now we need to draw his arms. We'll draw one arm out like this, and another arm out like that. Like he's saying, wee! Wee! Then we need to put his mittens. So we've got one mitten here. Remember, a mitten has our hands together and then a thumb. And then a mitten right here. Can you fit a mitten in on your page? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. And now the rest of his arm down like this. <gasps> okay, we've got his body and his arms and his hands. His so snowsuit is fluffy. His snowsuit <laughs> is so fluffy. Now we need to do his head. So his head is kind of a shape like this. Not quite a circle. Try to make it a little more like a circle on that side. And if you notice in the story, Peter has a fun snowsuit. It's got a great top on it. So we really want to make that fun top. That's what makes it look like Peter. Then we know it's him. Mine's a big one. <laughs> and that's how we're going to draw Peter in the snow. So the next step is cutting these out. So we're going to fast forward through us cutting out our Peters for them playing in the snow. Yay. So we've got all of our background ready. We've glued our snow mountains, our mountains of snow for Peter to play in. We've made some more snowflakes. The snowflakes can really look like anything, anything at all. Um, so you just cut them out of white paper. You can make as many snowflakes as big or small as you want to and then we've cut out our Peter and we're going to glue our whole picture together now. So we're just going to use regular um, liquid glue and be attaching our Peter and our snowflakes to our snowy day scene. So that's what we do. I hope you had fun making our snowy day project. And remember to always have fun and practice.